here you're seeing the main rotating part of the updraft of the parent thunderstorm. The inflow comes in from the south and southeast, rises up high into the thunderstorm. You can see all of the clouds rotating here with, uh, with that inflow air. Then it leans over and some of the updraft begins to generate precipitation. That falls down out of the storm. And here you're seeing the rain shafts coming in. The rain comes down and then gets pushed a little bit more down toward the south or southwest. Some of that gets drawn in a little bit into the supercell. Sometimes you get little tails of a cloud that come uh, uh, closer to the ground like this one that are affiliated with that. So uh, this is a, a classic appearance of a supercell thunderstorm. There's a lot of this rain-cooled air, the outflow that's been pushed now right underneath the updraft and the rotating part of the of the storm aloft. So with that kind of cool air underneath the rotating updraft, it would typically be that wall cloud area where the tornado would have formed. And with that cool air right down near the surface, that likely kept the tornado from forming.